Welcome to our poster, Metachronal Coordination in Celia Carpets. What are Celia Carpets? Celia are slender appendages of cells that can perform regular bending waves thanks to the action of molecular motors inside. Some cells, like this unicellular paramecium, is covered by thousands of cilia that beat in a coordinated fashion, forming twirling waves of cilia phase similar to a Mexican wave in a soccer stadium, allowing these cells to swim very efficiently. In a similar fashion, the epithelium of airways in mammals like us is likewise covered by thousands of cilia, which again beat in a coordinated fashion allowing for efficient transport of mucus, which is important to clear pathogens like viruses from our airways. And this coordinated beating of cilia is an instance of self-organization. Local interactions between cilia give rise to global patterns of coordinated, synchronized beating of a cilia carpet. Previous theoretical work addressed the self-organized synchronization in cilia carpets. And this previous theoretical work can broadly be classified into two groups. There are minimal models like beat spring models that predict how local hydrodynamic interactions between model cilia can give rise to global synchronization, at least qualitatively. On the other hand, there are detailed simulations that really produce predictions that can be compared with experiments. However, often these detailed simulations contain a number of unnamed, unknown parameters and often require supercomputers to solve them. We try to bridge these two approaches by a multi-scale modeling approach termed Lagrangian mechanics of active systems, which we explain now. And specifically, um, we take an experimental beat pattern originally measured by Machime for paramecium, and this periodic bending wave is parameterized by a phase variable phi Think of phi as a clock variable, and we plug this experimental beat pattern into hydrodynamic simulations and compute um, for each shape the whole surface density of hydrodynamic friction forces, and then we apply a trick. We generalize the concept of Lagrangian mechanics to define generalized forces, in this case generalized friction forces that are conjugate to the phase of a cilium by a projection method that uses the previously computed hydrodynamic friction forces from our hydrodynamic simulation. And thereby, we can also compute hydrodynamic interactions between a pair of cilia, how the beating of one cilium influences the dynamics of a second cilium nearby. And with these computed hydrodynamic interactions, really calibrated from detailed hydrodynamic simulations, we can then move to a full um, lattice of cilia, to a full cilia carpet, where we account for all local hydrodynamic interactions between cilia that we've um, calibrated and pre-computed using our hydrodynamic simulations. And we can then ask for each possible metachronal wave for each possible traveling wave with wave vector k, will this particular wave mode be stable with respect to small perturbations? And this is what we get. We get a whole zoo, a whole so-called Brion zone of wave vectors. So each point here corresponds to different metachronal wave. At the center of this hexagon, that would correspond to an in-phase synchronized state where all cilia move unisono with the same phase. And any other uh, dot like in this green 
island corresponds to a traveling wave and we show here wave direction relative to the direction of the effective stroke of the cilia bead, which for our coordinate system is aligned along the vertical y-axis. And what we observe from this linear stability analysis is that there are many wave modes that are stable here, shown in green with their respective relaxation times. However, But we can also ask for global stability. We can ask if we start with random initial conditions in which metachromal wave mode would our cilia carpet end up in. And we find the lion's share of initial conditions, about 99%, converge to a dominant wave mode, namely the green wave vector K1 and the very similar blue K2. And this metachronal wave corresponds to a so-called dexioplectic metachronal wave. What's that? Well, a dexioplectic metachronal wave is where the traveling direction of the traveling metachronal wave is rotated counterclockwise relative to the direction set by the effective stroke of the cilia bead. And indeed, in the original experiments of Machima, this was exactly what was observed there, a dexioplectic wave, as comes out here from our theoretical analysis. Next, we can ask, what would happen if we simulate a larger cilia carpet? Well, we find very similar results for the linear stability analysis, we find again a dominant wave mode that attracts almost all initial conditions. But there's one difference, namely the relaxation time, the relaxation time of the slowest decaying perturbation mode for the dominant metachronal wave. This relaxation time diverges with system lengths. And this is actually a dynamic analogon of a famous result of statistical mechanics of the so-called Mermin-Wagner theorem for equilibrium systems. And here we find a very similar result for a non-equilibrium system, which has consequences. Namely, it implies that we cannot expect global synchronization in a very large cilia carpet, but instead we expect that we find only local synchronized patches of a characteristic size. And with this, I want to conclude and thank you for your attention.